Welcome back to the Gospelogen channel. I'm excited to talk about today's topic, and let me just start by this. If I had to ask you what comes to your mind when you think about apologetics, most people are like, oh yeah, arguments for Christian existence, but here's one. What comes to mind when you think about yourself and apologetics? Would you consider yourself an apologist? That's why I want to look at the question today, why do apologetics still matter today? But more than that, I want to look at the relationship between you and apologetics. What relationship should you have with apologetics? And I've got five reasons for why I think they still matter. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end so I can explain them all. And I have a surprising one at the end that I, I don't think you've actually thought of before. So I'm excited to share some of these with you. But number one, apologetics, they are providing a reasoned defense of the Christian faith. That's what apologetics are at their heart. And there's multiple ways you can go about it. There's there's reformed apologetics, there's classical apologetics, there's evidentialist apologetics, there's many different styles. And while I lean towards different pros and cons of the different styles, ultimately what matters is that you're able to provide a defense for the faith. But it's not about winning debates. In fact, if you go on my channel, you'll see lots of debates I've had with atheists and people of different beliefs. I don't win a lot of those. In fact, some of them where I'd say I win, they'd say they won too. And so who determines the real winner? Really what apologetics is about is finding a meaningful way to engage with people and invite them into understanding the truth of the gospel. That's what we want to do. We want to show people that, hey, we can talk about our ideas without getting crazy or going all crusader or nuts on you. We want to show people that we're able to have a defense for our faith provide an answer for the hope that lies within us and have a reasonable discourse. And so if that's something that you're like, hey, yeah, I think we should be able to do that. You probably know people in your life that don't understand Christianity at all, or they have a really perverted view, or maybe you've been hurt by Christianity. If you've been hurt by Christianity, realize this, many, many, many other people have been hurt by Christianity too. And they're wondering what is the relevance of Christianity? Apologetics help us reason those things out. They help us have these conversations and, and show how reasonable this faith is and be able to invite people into that conversation. And these are just conversational tools. Okay, number two, let's talk about addressing skepticism. So first, once we know what apologetic, apologetics is and why that's important, let's talk about skepticism. In today's culture, there's a lot of tough questions out there. Does God exist? Why is there suffering? The problem of evil. Why did God let this happen? What we want to do is provide clarity amidst confusion. If you're a Christian, you already know that the truth of God's word gives us clarity, gives us structure, gives us organization, and gives us boundaries for how we live our life. It helps us know how we do what we do, and it, it gives us a reason for living. We want to address a world full of those questions, full of skeptics. Most people are taught from the time they enter school all the way through that there is no God and they should question everything. I don't think that that's helping us very much, especially as we look at the rise of mental health statistics and with the rise of atheism, especially atheism being indoctrinated as an actual belief system and maybe to the exclusion of Christianity in some extreme cases. I think you'll see that those two things rise at the same time. As we remove the reasons for being alive, as we remove the purpose for people to be here, and we enter into a world where you're just here by random chance, the skeptics provide questions that have no answers, which lead to depression, lead to mental health, all sorts of other issues. Christians need to be able to have apologetics and have these reasonable conversations to help people see the light of the gospel and Jesus and how there is a way for them. Number three, and this is an easy one, but strengthening believers. Apologetics builds up believers. I cannot tell you how many different subjects I know more about now than I used to. Not an expert, maybe, but know more because I had to study it out because someone asked me a question. I think one of the reasons many people don't go into apologetics is they're like, what if I get asked a question that I don't know the answer to? Good. Good. If you get asked a question you don't know the answer to, then you get to go study it for yourself. Your faith will be built because guess what? The Bible has the answer. That answer is in the Bible already. And then you'll be able to go share it with your friend. And through those conversations, that's oftentimes a doorway for the gospel to be opened. So if you don't know the answers, all the more reason to get into apologetics. Next, engaging the world. Yeah, we want to strengthen believers, but we need to engage the world. If Christians just sequester themselves into their churches on Sundays and we never share the light of Christ with anyone and we're never interacting with our world, then we're not going to do a very good job with the Great Commission, which is reaching other people for Christ and creating disciples and baptizing them and training them and teaching them how to go out and go make more disciples. We are called to engage the world around us, and apologetics is one of the fastest courses into that. I'm not talking about two guys in a podium who are yammering at each other and no one knows who wins. I'm talking about when I go out and I want to witness to people and they need to have real conversations about their faith, apologetics provide that foundation of defense for me. And then lastly, and this is the fifth one, and 
I told you I had an answer for you that I think might surprise you. And that is, I think the more we look at our world, the more we look at how crazy it is, and we see some of the agendas being pushed by radical groups that's trickling down very quickly, there's a complete loss of objective truth. And my fifth answer is, is truth matters. It does matter. And I think many people know that truth matters and they're locked into their belief system and that's what they think is truth. But I think it's really important for us to be secure and, and, and inviting to the truth. We don't want to be upset and hateful and mean to people that don't believe the way we do just because they don't have truth. We need to realize that the truth is something that sets people free. The truth is a person for us and we want to invite other people to know the truth. I think sometimes, especially conservative Christians, get locked into the S idea that we should circle the wagons and stay away from that evil, terrible world. And we should realize that we know the truth that can set them free from their slavery to sin and the devil and all the things that are oppressing them. So when I see someone behaving or living in a way that is completely anti-God and evil, I need to realize that person doesn't know the truth. The truth is Jesus, and I should invite them into it. So when we talk about why apologetics matter today, they matter today because the Great Commission is still out there, because Jesus still has his followers being salt and light in the earth. But what I want you to think about is how apologetics apply to you. You need to be an apologist, and and either you'll be a good one, or you'll be getting to be a better one, or, or maybe you need to learn some. But there's a lot of tools out there for you to get started with. If you want to comment on this video, I'd love for you to share what apologetics resources have been most helpful to you, and what your experiences have been, and I'll reply back to them as I can. See you at the next video.